Hey guys, it's Callie and welcome back to my channel. And today we're talking about base stars. And before you click away, hear me out. Season two of the Netflix series about talking animals was released this past Thursday and it's honestly pretty good. So I wanted to make this video for two reasons. One, to just let you know that season two is out and that you should go watch it. And two, I wanted to try and convince you to check out Bay Stars if you haven't already, because I know that I was initially hesitant when I first heard about the series, but after I checked it out, I realized it's pretty good. But before we get into that, really quickly, if you're new to my channel or if you're a new subscriber, welcome. I make videos about anime, animated shows, and really just whatever is on my mind at the time. So if that sounds like something that interests you, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe if you want to see more. So if you're unfamiliar with Base Stars, it's an anime about anthropomorphic animals at Chiriton Academy, a school where both herbivores and carnivores live in harmony. However, this peaceful coexistence is suddenly disrupted when an herbivore student is found murdered and eaten by an unknown carnivore. This event sends the school into a panic as tensions quickly escalate between the two groups as the murderer may very well be a student walking among them. Oh, there's also a wolf trying to sleep with a rabbit. No, no, no. Now when I first saw the series, I thought, yeah, no, I don't think this is for me. No tea in your shade to anybody, you know, live your life, live your truth. Uh, it just didn't appeal to me personally. However, a few months ago, I got a TikTok recommending the show to me and we all know that I'm a sheep and I watch whatever TikTok tells me to watch. But when I checked it out, I was pleasantly surprised as by the end of episode one, I was already pretty invested in the story and really enjoying it. And I know that a lot of the hesitation around the series comes from the fact that the main characters are human-like animals. But after watching the series, I really think the main characters needed to be animals. And let me explain why. The reason that I love animation is that it provides a medium for stories that can't really be told in the real world. Yes, you can have fantasy, sci-fi, romance, and action stories with humans. But in my opinion, this severely limits what stories you're able to tell because everything has to be somewhat rooted in realism. But that's not the case with animation, as animation really lets you tell whatever story you want. You want a story about a man with a chainsaw for a head? Do it. How about a group of teenagers with elemental superpowers trying to stop a global autocracy? Go ahead. What about a group of drag queens who fight evil? I hate sissy men. I'm gonna kill myself and take you all with me! Yeah, maybe not that last one. My point is, similar to how animation is a medium for stories that might not read as well in the real world, I think that using non-human characters can also be a medium for stories that might not read as well if humans were involved. One of the main conflicts in Base Stars is this power struggle between the herbivores and the carnivores, as the two groups are supposed to be on equal footing, but the carnivores are the dominant ones in society, as almost all positions of power are occupied by them. As an example, one of the main arcs of season one is about this herbivore trying to obtain one of these positions of powers and just how much harder he has to work for it because he isn't a carnivore. Not to mention the fact that the carnivores can pretty much eat the herbivores whenever they want. And while there are parallels between this story and equalities in the real world, I don't think this theme could have been explored in as dark of a manner as it was if animals weren't the primary focus of this season. Using humans to explore complex topics can sometimes be detrimental as the audience can become incredibly self-conscious seeing characters that are so similar to themselves in such morally complex situations. It's a little difficult difficult to explain, but I think a good example of this is the episode Chickens from Bojack Horseman. Bleh. So Bojack is another show about anthropomorphic animals, but this one has some humans in it. And in this episode, the audience learns where meat comes from, which I also personally had been wondering because if animals and humans are equal, what meat are they eating? Don't ask questions, just keep eating! And they find out, quick spoiler alert for the episode, is that the meat comes from chickens, but not regular chickens, no, 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 food chickens. And what's the difference you may ask? Well, while regular chickens can walk and talk like the rest of us, food chickens have been given special hormones since birth to stunt their mental growth so that they don't develop consciousness. And when you think about it, this is a pretty heavy topic. This discovery somewhat forces the audience to confront some difficult ethical and moral topics such as what does it mean to be alive and essentially where do we draw the line? The episode does an amazing job exploring such a heavy topic in such a nonchalant manner, and I really don't think this could have been accomplished if humans were the primary medium for this story. Certain topics can be too taboo or rather barbaric to explore with humans. Humans are seen as too evolved and too civilized to engage in such behaviors, and people tend to shy away from seeing people engage in such barbaric and terrible acts. But if you make the characters animals, everything is suddenly a little less serious because it's not the humans who are doing it, it's animals. And this is why a story such as Base Stars needed to be told the way that it was. And because of this, the theme of inequality can be taken to new extreme as the herbivores can not only fear for their job security, but for their life as well. The use of animals makes these complex and dark themes a little more palatable for the average viewer as it allows us to remove ourselves enough to fully process what's going on. Now, am I saying that this is the reason the creator made all the characters animals? I don't know, maybe. Did she maybe just want to draw a deer pulling a wolf by his tie? I don't know, probably. 
I'm not here to judge, but I do think that there is some point to be made about the use of animals versus humans in storytelling. And before wrapping things up, I did want to briefly mention how much I enjoyed the series from an animation standpoint. The animators used a mix of different mediums from traditional to CGI to stop motion, and it's honestly really fun to watch. There's also some really cool details that went into making the series, such as the use of specific instruments for herbivores versus carnivores. They said that for the carnivores, they tended to use more larger, brassy sounding instruments, while the herbivores kind of had a daintier woodwind sound. I don't know, as a former band nerd, I kind of thought that was cool. But in conclusion, should you watch Face Stars? Yes, yes you should. It's honestly a really good series that handles some complex things really well and has some characters that I thoroughly enjoy. Now, at the end of the day, it is about a wolf and a rabbit with sexual tension, and if that's really not your cup of tea, I get it. But I really suggest checking it out and giving it a try because it might surprise you as it did me. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. Uh, like I said, I just really like the anime and just kind of wanted to try and convince some people to check it out if they hadn't already. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And let me know what you guys think. Have you watched the show already and do have some thoughts about season two? Or if you haven't watched it, did this video maybe want to make you give it a try? Let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and seeing what you guys have to say. And just thank you to anybody who's ever commented on one of my videos. Uh, it really means a lot. I also want to give you guys a quick update in regards to the channel. Recently, I've been trying to upload a video every week and I think that I've realized I need to take a step back from that. I created this channel to kind of be a creative outlet for myself and just kind of be a place where I can explore with content creation and just how I want to express myself. However, my plans kind of changed when Skate the Infinity came out. I still can't believe the responses to those videos. I suddenly went from having two subscribers, shout out to Christine and Sloan, to 500 overnight. And while I'm incredibly grateful to you guys and just I'm so thankful for all your support, I noticed that I suddenly was putting this weird pressure on myself to make more videos. I feel like if I wasn't constantly putting out content people would forget about me or realize they actually didn't like my videos or I don't know just be upset at me for not uploading enough which I know is dumb but my brain is kind of dumb and because of this weird pressure I've noticed that I haven't been enjoying making videos as much and I feel like that's a little bit evident in the videos that I've been giving to you guys every week I'm stressed because I not only have to think of a new video idea but also film it and edit it and try to post it on this specific day and to put it back quickly it kind of sucks I've just been feeling really anxious lately and every time I sit down to film or work on some of my videos I just I don't know, I'm not having a good time. And that's not great for anybody. It's not great for me, obviously, but it's also not great for you guys because I'm not putting out the videos that I wanna put out for you all. So I just wanna let you guys know that, yes, I still will be making videos. I just might not be making them as often. I really want to be able to take the time that I need to make the videos I want to make and not have them be half-baked or rushed just because of this weird pressure that I put on myself. But yeah, I just kind of want to share this with you guys and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Again, thank you so much to anyone who's kept up with my content and subscribed. It just, it really does mean a lot. I love making videos and I want to continue doing it. I just need to take a step back for the moment. But yeah, I think that'll actually do it for this video. Be sure to subscribe so you can be notified whenever I put out a new video. And if you want more content, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel while I'm working on some new stuff for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time where I make a another video exposing my questionable tastes. Bye. I'm so warm. Just wearing a hoodie in the summer really wasn't, uh, wasn't it. <laughs>